So let's start with Brexit today. It was a widely expected move. British lawmakers flat out rejected Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal, plunging the divorce process from the EU into even further chaos, if one could think that was possible. For more on this, let's turn to our Noah Adam uh, straight off the bat here. So, Adam, we essentially knew this deal would be voted down, but the margin of defeat shocked everyone. That's right, Mark, an overwhelming margin indeed. 432 MPs opposed Mrs May's uh, deal, only 202 backed it. That marks the worst parliamentary defeat for a British government in almost a century. Scores of the Prime Minister's own lawmakers joined forces with the opposition to vote down the deal. Opposition Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn promptly called a vote of no confidence in May's government to be held within 24 hours. The most important issue facing us is that the government has lost the confidence of this House and this country. I therefore, Mr Speaker, inform you I have now tabled a motion of no confidence in this government. And I'm pleased, I'm pleased that motion will be debated tomorrow so this House can give its verdict on the sheer incompetence of this government. And that motion of no confidence in the government. With only about three months left until Britain is scheduled to leave the EU, the UK is now in one of its worst political crises in recent history. Some within the Labour Party have even suggested another referendum on Brexit could be in the works if there is a switch of government. It is common practice, usually, for a Prime Minister to resign after such a crushing defeat, but Mrs May signalled her intention to carry on. Every day that passes without this issue being resolved means more uncertainty, more bitterness and more rancour. The Government have heard, has heard what the House has said tonight, but I ask members on all sides of the House to listen to the British people who want this issue settled and to work with the Government to do just that. In Europe, meanwhile, European Council President Donald Tusk said he regretted Tuesday's outcome and urged London to clarify its intentions. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, expressed his willingness to carry on talks. Now it's time for the UK to, to tell us the next steps. And on our side, we will remain united and determined to reach a deal. The overall sentiment in the EU is that member nations regret Tuesday's results but accept that the British Parliament does not want the current deal. However, they are asking, with so little time left, what deal would be acceptable. Back to you, Mark.